for her oh. book tour. Okay. Uh, they had a, a picture on the back of her bus with her, you know, shade. Yeah, reading She's that looking phone. down at the phone like, you know, I'm so cool and I'm so trendy because I've got a cell phone. It's like, well, that oh, there it is. Yeah. kind of trendy 15 right. years ago. That's well, it right there. It's the famous yeah. picture with her Blackberry and then, mm -hmm. but when she came out and said, I only had an iPhone and then it's like, well, what about the Blackberry also and <laughs> he <laughs> just lies and yeah. lies. But what lies. difference? And of course, make. her daughter is going right down the same path as her parents. Surprise, surprise. Oh, yeah. They say Chelsea Clinton says Republicans hate speech, quote, is far more troubling, unquote, than attacks on my parents. And they had a uh, situation, this was on the Drudge Report, where they, uh, uh, they said Donald Trump has called your dad an abuser of women and your mom his enabler. What do you think of his attacks on your parents? And she said, I find what Donald Trump and many of the Republicans, because it's not only Mr. Trump, say about Americans is far more troubling than who, what he says about my parents. Look, it isn't Donald Trump that is saying that about uh, your mom and your dad. It's the people that your dad abused. That very then, long list of supposed yeah. victims are saying that right. Donald exactly. Trump has just repeated it. Exactly. The people that are claiming that uh, they were sexually molested, harassed, and raped by Bill Clinton, and then saying that Hillary Clinton made it even worse. And so they're the ones who are saying right. it. It's not Donald Trump. It's not the Republicans. It's the victims, Hillary. But then she goes on to go right down all the typical Democrat shibboleths in one sentence. She says this is broad-based misogyny and sexism and racism and Islamophobia and <laughs> jingoism and homophobia and anti-immigrant rhetoric. I'm quoting her directly. I'm I mean, wow. that she just, that's what she says, okay? Every She's like a one robot of the who was like, yeah. glitch, 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 just spitting, <laughs> spitting out all those buzzwords. It's this and this and this and this and this and this. Now I'm done. I, yes. I've toasted these guys. I've thrown every label at them. She ran through all her talking at points, and now yeah. she has nothing else to say. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at InfoWars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcasts and audio podcasts that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew, the reporters. You are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first, and then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win, and then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new groundbreaking gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water. Save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping. This is a limited time offer, so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off. Go to InfoWarsStore.com or call 888-253-3139. Well, this segment is sort of going to be a, an I told you so segment. Now, I called this months ago when I sort of saw some rumblings there within the military. Obviously, relatively soon, they are going to have equality within the military service. So I said, just the next thing on the agenda will be drafting women into the military. So now the Army and Marine Corps, one of their top uniform leaders, is backing making women register for the draft as all combat roles are open to them in the coming months. So this is uh, Army Chief of Staff General Mark Milley and Marine Corps Commandment General Robert Neller. They told senators during a Capitol Hill hearing that full integration of these jobs is likely going to take a few years to overcome some logistical and cultural issues. One of those complications is going to be how to handle the selective service system. Women in the past have always been exempt 
and you know they say that they point to challenges on the uh, restrictions on the battlefield but that reasoning is now moot so lawmakers are going to need to determine what becomes of the system this is not about equality stupid now regardless of what you've heard men cannot repopulate a country after war that is why women are not drafted into the military who is going to repopulate the nation even if you have a new plastic vagina you cannot have a baby that's why women do not join the draft. But you know what? I'm a conspiracy theorist, so who knows? In the future, men might be able to have babies. So let's talk about another conspiracy theory turned fact. Now, Fisher Price has made a smart bear uh, for children, and of course, it's hackable. Didn't see that one coming. Didn't see it coming with the new Barbie that's attached to the Wi-Fi. We also reported on all the baby monitors that were being turned into spy cameras from strangers. So now, in September, Mattel's Fisher-Price brand announced that it had partnered with a tech company to make Smart Toy, a stuffed bear that can learn a three-year-old's name. Naturally, it's hackable. So researchers at a Boston-based security company found that the app connected to the toy had several security flaws that would allow a hacker to steal a child's name, birth date, and gender, along with other data. So you're saying, oh, well, that's, you know, whatever, just their name and birth date and all of that. Um, but as, you know, commonly used, people use their child's name or their birth date for their passwords to get into their bank accounts. I know I have <laughs> some family members who do that. Um, and they also can gather information on a target's family in order to trick them into giving them information in a phishing attack. So people might think that this is no big deal with their toys being hooked up to Wi-Fi and hooked up to the internet, that they can't get any real information out of them. But here you can see even the simplest thing like your child's name, date, and gender is a very valuable tool to someone who means to do harm. And here's another prediction. Now I'm gonna say, when I first watched Endgame about 10 years ago, Alex Jones, he's narrating it, and then all of a sudden it flips to how the elite are gonna merge with machines and live forever. And I was like, whoa, I thought we were talking about politics here, what happened, left. And now here, lo and behold, they're saying, is technology causing us to evolve into a new species? Experts believe superhumans called Homo Optimus will talk to machines and be digitally immortal by 2050. They say if you're under 40, there's a good chance you're gonna achieve electronic immortality during your lifetime. All your thoughts and experiences will be uploaded and stored online for future generations. And they even predict that Within the next 35 years, humans will live online and our pets could even talk to us like real life Furbies. Now these predictions were made by Dr. Ian Pearson as part of the lead up to the Big Bang Fair. And he says with optimized genomes and bodies enhanced by links to external technology, people could be more beautiful, more intelligent, more emotionally sophisticated, more physically able, more socially connected and generally healthier and happier all around. And yes, we could be robots because we've seen how all the connections we've made on social media have actually just caused us to be even further apart and more socially awkward in face-to-face -face interactions. And of course, I don't know if you've noticed this little phenomenon on sites like Instagram where every chick on there looks exactly the same. It's this perception of beauty and so now everyone has the same lips and the same boob job and the same hair color and the same dresses and everyone thinks it's pretty and that's because it's total destruction of the individual god wanted us all to be unique and now we are all becoming androgynous robots the architects of the new world order are in a race to complete the structure of world government so they can suppress the independent development of technologies that threaten their monopoly of power, while at the same time steering new developments in the direction the architects chart for humanity. The technocrats call their governing system the final revolution, because in the past, empires were enforced militarily. Now enforcement is primarily psychological and economic, and society itself is a construct of the elite who operate outside the controlled paradigm and control the civilization within, just as a child maintains the environment of a fish tank. 
We are like lab rats living out our entire existence, never questioning the confines of the cage or the scientists who experiment on us. New World Order engineers have hijacked human destiny. His controllers have closely studied human behavior for more than a hundred years and are now steering us with expert control, using our primitive drives and desires as levers. They have developed their mind control systems to the point of being able to control the average unconscious person like a car. Eugenics dominated the 20th century. Its ruthless spirit has now metastasized into the fields of genetics, nanotech, and robotics. But that's not surprising. From their inception, all three disciplines have been dominated by eugenicists. The billionaire founder of Sun Microsystems, Bill Joy, courageously went public in 2000 to warn of a cancerous consensus among the technocratic elite that at best humanity would be completely enslaved by the year 2030. And at worst, mass extermination of everyone but the elite would take place. A who's who of the techno elite are members of what is known as the transhumanist or post-humanist movement. Many of its adherents see only the beneficial aspects of technology's exponential rise, like bringing sight to the blind, sound to the deaf, and longer life for all. But what many of them don't know is that master eugenicist Julian Huxley founded transhumanism and that society's controllers openly admit that the new system is designed to progress into absolute tyranny. Leading transhumanist Ray Kurzweil boasts that technological advancements will allow those that can afford it to live forever, but admits that most won't be able to keep up with the new master race. The drive for world government is now all about who will control and have access to radical life extension systems. Biological evolution is too slow for the human species. Over the next few decades, it's going to be left in the dust. Transhumanists believe that they will attain the fountain of youth by merging with technology. Now, it may be within their reach. Decades ago, transhumanists said that if you did not accept augmentation or enhancements, you would no longer be able to get jobs. And now it's happening today. The elite who occupy the commanding heights of digital reality are suicidal nihilists. Suicidal nihilists know that there is no longer any substantive purpose to their willing, but they would always prefer to go on willing than not to act at all. They can very happily ally themselves with the notion of nuclear holocaust or perfect exterminism. Technology has become so powerful in its capacity for destruction that free humanity cannot afford to let psychopathic technocrats with delusions of grandeur repeat the mistakes of their forebears, because it is highly probable that this time they may destroy everything, including themselves in their mad rush for godhood. That's it for the show tonight. We'll see you tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central.